Hey, let's learn some facts. Air pollution is complicated. It's no good for our planet and we can't buy it away. One of the most overlooked aspects of our lifestyles is the air we breathe. The same could be said about EMF and Wi-Fi, probably because both are invisible. You know, it's not like your room becomes a black smog cloud when the CO2 levels are high. You know, the same way laser beams don't shoot into your room when a cell tower is nearby. Those exaggerations of what's happening or how the situation should actually be treated. Breathing polluted air can reduce life expectancy by an estimated two years. Some of the things it causes are shortness of breath, an itchy throat and just too many diseases to think of. Indoor air is more polluted than outdoor air. That's why ventilating is important. It avoids air pollutants from building up in an enclosed area. Air pollution caused a new term to be born. Have you ever heard of the Beijing cough? This term refers to the cough and itchy throat caused by the city's dry climate. Plants can filter pollution. There's a couple of things I guess I want to highlight. The inside of the leaf is similar to the inside of our cells, where everything is coated in water, and so there's all sorts of there's water in between all of the different cells, and that water is what is evaporating out of the stomatal cell, or yeah, out of the stomatal cells back into the atmosphere. And the thing that I want to highlight is that these stomatal cells are sort of this, this joint control over carbon exchange and water loss, but the carbon exchange has another aspect to it where it's getting biochemically fixed. And so these processes are linked through the stomatal conductance, but then there's another aspect of photosynthesis. And so I wanted to understand what happens when plants are exposed to ozone. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more facts and see you in the next one.